Hey everyone, it's kind of a weird video, a video I never really thought I would make, but I've made some decisions with my YouTube channel. Now, I'm not leaving YouTube. I want to stress this. Nintendo Prime is not leaving YouTube. We are going to continue to create videos like we've always created on this channel. However, if you saw my live stream this morning or my live stream later tonight, you will maybe already know what I'm talking about. Uh, and that is that I am no longer, after today, going to be streaming on YouTube. I have no plans to come back to YouTube for streaming. Now, you might wonder, why am I making this decision? Well, before I get into that, I do got to remind you, we got a couple giveaways. First is for a Nintendo Switch, a PlayStation 5, or an Xbox Series X. And then after that, we are also giving away two copies of Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Head down to the description to find out how to enter. Like, subscribe, comment on this video, uh, all that jazz. Um, hit the bell icon, whatever. Let's go. Road to 100,000. Hopefully, we hit it this year. All right. So here's the deal. YouTube screwed me over. I talked about this before in a video you can watch up here. They kind of screwed me over for September. I lost out on a lot of revenue. Might get it back, might not get it back. It's not looking promising at the moment. Uh, but in wake of this, it's not so much about the money loss. It's about a realization that so much of what I do uh, for this channel is so reliant on a single platform and a single platform holder. Uh, I stream a lot relative to my channel. You know, we're, we're talking three, four times a week, uh, sometimes five days a week. Uh, we're talking, we have the podcast on, on some weeks. We have uh, obviously three, four to five videos going up a day. Uh, we have a lot of content I output on this channel, and I do it all on my own. I do it all on my own uh, while I'm also full time parenting three children. Well, I'm in full-time college and I work a full-time job. So I'm doing a lot. My life is busy as hell. So there's nothing uh, more frustrating than when YouTube screws with your revenue, which they did in September. Again, I'm not going to get too much into it. But the point I'm bringing up is it, it reminded me that so much of my uh, online presence in terms of this channel is reliant upon YouTube. I make hundreds of dollars a month in Super Chat revenue on live streams. Um, and so that's like the big revenue driver for live stream. It's not the ad money. It's that, it's that it's actually been the big revenue driver for the entire channel. Uh, I mean, I've made something around $24,000 on the lifetime of this channel and 17,000 of that was super chat revenue. So super chat revenue has been a big deal on my channel for a long time, but I've decided that I'm going to move all of my live streams after today because we have, we're going to have one little going away stream tonight uh to twitch at twitch.tv slash nintendo prime tv and the reason i've decided to do this is to diversify my audience and diversify my income we all know that youtube's notification system is horrible sometimes my videos don't even show up in your subscription feeds let alone getting notifications uh, some people get notified of my stream six hours later which defeats the purpose of a live stream because then you had a chance to be there live you just didn't know it was happening now if you follow on twitter and discord you get additional ways to obviously uh you know if you join our discord server and you follow on twitter there's just additional ways you can find out about this stuff but you might not be on those platforms at the time when the notifications go out so you're kind of left twiddling your thumbs. So I've decided that I'm going to put all my streams on Twitch. And this isn't like an unheard of thing. A lot of other YouTube cre content creators make a ton of YouTube videos, but they stream exclusively on Twitch. Part of this is because Twitch does kind of have like this exclusivity contract thing. When you're a Twitch affiliate or a uh, Twitch, uh, what, what is it, partner, uh, they you can't co-stream there are people that do it they do co-stream on youtube and twitch but you're not supposed to and twitch has the right to revoke all of the money you make and already on twitch i'm already up to like 58 or 59 uh subs because twitch prime if you didn't know if you had amazon prime you can connect it to your twitch account and you can give a free sub uh to a channel and a lot of people right now are choosing to give their subs to my efforts over on there and hey if we get a hit 100 subs on twitch i am planning to do some twitch sub exclusive giveaways and then every 100 uh, additional subs we get after that the giveaways will just get bigger and bigger for those twitch subs and yes my next stream on twitch whenever that stream is i know for sure i'm streaming on friday but whenever that stream is uh, i will be giving away 40 dollars uh in in total of uh you know eShop gift cards just because i can but here's the deal the biggest reason to make this shift is because i need to diversify my audience it's not necessarily about drawing in new people necessarily from twitch although i hope to have some organic growth on twitch with more gameplay streams and talk streams over there but it's primarily in my honest opinion um, about making sure that all my eggs aren't in the youtube basket my channel has grown 
to a point that I don't want everyone just following on YouTube. I want other places people can get my content. Now, I've talked about BitChute and other places I'm trying to support with my content, but reality is I have a really awesome opportunity with a big streaming platform to take my streams off of YouTube, put them over there on Twitch, and see a modicum of success um, and grow a different type of audience that's coming just for live streams without affecting the YouTube algorithm. And it's weird because my streams get a lot of views. I'm getting more views on my streams on YouTube than I ever have. But I, I also am like, because I'm streaming, it promotes the super chats where YouTube takes 30%. People don't use the donation like that much. Uh, and I like super chats. I like what they provide. And I think super chats is one of the biggest thing we lose because Twitch uses bits, which let's just say, that's just, I mean, bits suck. All right. In comparison to super chats, bits are horrible. Even though you can like donate down to the penny, it doesn't matter. Bits to me are just horrendous in comparison to super chats. But there's a lot of benefits of the Twitch streaming platform. Um, outside of, uh, you know, the, the subs and the, and the Amazon Prime subs that people can give, which can lead to higher sub counts. Uh, I'm talking about things like, well, how about the fact that I can run polls with the audience? I can uh, run giveaway apps with the audience. I can do a whole bunch of crap. There can be leaderboards and all this stuff that isn't reliant on me running some special tool in Streamlabs to make it work, which sometimes it doesn't work. If you guys have been to my streams, you'll know sometimes Streamlabs just flat out doesn't work with YouTube. It's just not accurate uh, with some of the things I try to do. So it, it, th there's a lot of benefits where a lot of streaming tools out there are actually purpose built for Twitch, including Streamlabs, if we're completely honest. Uh, so I want to take advantage of these tools, create more engaging and better live streams, while also making sure I have an audience on two different platforms. Because if, so God forbid, I get copyright strikes on my channel, God forbid, you know, YouTube snaps its fingers and stops sending out notifications on my videos, which by the way, my views are already going like this from September and like they're almost down to uh, like numbers I haven't seen in months. Uh, it lets me know that, okay, YouTube's already hating on my channel. Now more than ever, I need to get my audience kind of shifted over to another platform that, so they can at least see the streams, if nothing else. Because, yes, I'll still be doing Q&A and talky talk streams and talking about news over on Twitch. I'm still going to do that. I'm also going to be doing more gameplay streams than I've been doing. So it's a place you're really, really, really going to want to check out. Now, if there's like a big highlight or something cool to bring over to YouTube, I will still re-upload to YouTube at least 24 hours later. As an example, I did the podcast this past Monday, uh, which was yesterday, I guess, last night on Twitch. That's going to be arriving on YouTube later today or tonight, roughly 24 hours after I started on Twitch. So it's just one of those things to keep an eye on and pay attention to uh, because I just don't want to be reliant on YouTube as I feel like I've hit a certain size with my channel or I don't want to be reliant on YouTube as the only place you can discover my content. Does this mean I'm never going to stream on YouTube again? I don't know. One thing I'm still debating on is what happens with a Nintendo Direct. That's the one the one thing I'm just not quite sure if I want to make that exclusive on Twitch. But I guess that's going to depend on how well our Twitch channel grows because I don't think we're going to get a major Nintendo Direct until next year. Anyways, heck, if at all, again, I don't know what Nintendo's plans are with Directs. So it's just something I'm, 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 I'm still kind of sp spinning with Directs. But pretty much my stream tonight is it. It's going to be my last stream on YouTube, at least the last planned stream I have on YouTube. Uh, everything else is going to be on Twitch. I'm going to keep pushing the Twitch. I'm going to keep promoting the Twitch. This YouTube's kind of promoting this YouTube video here is kind of promoting the Twitch. And YouTube might hate me for doing it. I have no idea. I've heard rumors that YouTube starts to really like, like defavor people who are promoting Twitch. But I really don't care. I need to make sure my audience can enjoy my streams, enjoy my content, and Twitch just provides a better notification system. I realize there are some things I'm giving up. The number one thing I'm giving up from a personal perspective is I'm giving up revenue. I am legitimately not going to make more on Twitch right now than I make doing live streams on, on YouTube. I'm just not. I make more money doing streams on YouTube than on Twitch. I make more money on Super Chats than I do on Twitch because I get more Super Chats on YouTube than I get donations on Twitch. It's just the way it goes. So I'm technically giving up a lot of money. Um, hundreds and hundreds of dollars which adds up to thousands of dollars a year uh, unless my Twitch really explodes and I don't know if it will. In addition, I know there's some of you out there where the Twitch app just doesn't work well on your phone, other devices, or if you're at work, it's a banned app or a banned website so you just can't gain access to it. Some people have it banned in their households. I get it and I'm sorry. 
Um, there's ways around it with VPNs, but reality is, I'm sorry. I know Twitch is a very different environment than YouTube. Hopefully, I can bring some of that YouTube vibe over to Twitch because I think it could fit in well there. But I know it's different over there, okay? But uh, I need to think about what's best for the future of Nintendo Prime, and that is diversifying content. I'm not going anywhere. I repeat, I'm still a YouTuber first and foremost, and my focus is right here on this channel. Road to 100K, road to 500K, road to a million. We're still going to be pushing but we're going to work, focus more on what YouTube was originally built for, and that's uploaded, you know, edited content. And we'll get the streams going on the platform that was purpose-built for it. And I hope I grow on both platforms. That's always the goal, to grow on both. So I'm both a Twitch streamer, but also a YouTuber, or a YouTuber and also a Twitch streamer, whichever you want to view it. I want to do both. I enjoy both. Uh, as I said, there might be an occasional stream over here. Like if I do a charity stream, I'm going to want to reach as many people as possible. Twitch rules be damned. Uh, but for the most part, you want to catch my streams, head on over to twitch.tv slash Nintendo Prime TV. Link in the description. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you support me on my new platform. You decide to throw me your Twitch sub or just heck, if you don't even have like a... Um, a, a sub, you know, an Amazon Prime sub to give, just sub anyways, right? It's five bucks. There's also a tier two at 10, tier two at three. I'm going to be working on getting some more emojis and stuff in there that you guys can use for subbing. Uh, we have a sub leaderboard. If you gift subs during live streams, I think uh, Ed's at the top right now. He's gifted two. Edward Norton's gifted two subs so far. Uh, again, we want to get to 100 over there. We're actually not that far away, so let's do that. Let's get our first sub-only giveaway going uh, and just go from there because I truly think you guys are amazing and awesome and special, and I want to make sure everyone can enjoy my content as much as possible, and I understand there's always going to be some people left behind when you move something to a new platform, but I also feel like that new platform is going to actually long haul lead to more people being able to see my streams just because Twitch's notification system isn't broken. It's purpose-built for streamers. So thank you guys so much for tuning in. <sighs> Weird video. Like, it's a happy but sad. Either way, tune in because tonight at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, we have our final go-away bash stream on YouTube here uh, before I go over to Twitch. And we'll be having the drinks will be flowing. We'll talk more about the move. I'll answer all of your questions. Maybe we'll play some games for the last time here on YouTube. I have no idea, uh, but I'm excited. I am excited for what is to come. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Nathaniel Robojance from Nintendo Prime. And you know what? I'll catch each and every one of you guys in the next video.